I like a fool voted for Jackie Lacey in 2012, a few months before I, my, I lost my son. I regret that vote. There's no way I can take that vote back, but I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure she gets out of office. I would like to thank We thought, like most voters thought, we have a black woman DA. She's gonna stand up for black people. If we look at the faces of those who are standing here, it's not accidental that our loved ones were targeted by police, right? And on her watch, more than 554 people have been killed by police, and she chooses not to prosecute those officers. It's not that we are afraid to charge the police. The LA County District Attorney's Office has charged the police. The way the laws are, there's no way that you're going to have a prosecutor who's going to file on every police shooting. It's because the law uh, allows an officer to use deadly and dangerous force. In her case, even when the police, on the rare, ca on the rare occasion when the police have said, uh, this officer should be prosecuted, she still hasn't done it. And while the police chief came to the conclusion that, that uh, the arrestee was complying, the evidence showed something very, very different. But in doing that, I would have given up my constitutional duty. I took an oath in this job. And I promised I would make decisions that are in the best interest of justice. And to me, that means facts. That's the kind of um, duality. Now, if it had been reversed, Jamel had killed Ed Buck, he'd be sitting in prison, he would be on death row today. She would have found the evidence, she would have prosecuted him, and she would have probably sought the death penalty. Some of the police officers, they may have to spend a little more time filling out paper or they may wind up on administrative leave for a couple of weeks. But other than that, you can kill us and get away with it. protest is to draw attention, but it's what then? The issue is can we talk about those, how to prevent shootings in the first place? That's not the goal for this group. The goal for this group is to embarrass, harass, bring attention to the matter, but if we're ever going to get to solutions, I really feel there needs to be uh, a meaningful dialogue, a respectful dialogue. I think we can be in negotiations around policies but just general discussion, just general dialogue, while that may be healthy and, and you may feel good, it doesn't generally result in policy change. So I that we're missing a loved one, that kids is here, the kids lost a parent. When is enough enough? And I just said we keep fighting and keep coming and showing our present. Protest has a place. Protest and organizing is how we've won every single struggle that we've engaged in. What we want is an end to the violence against our people. State-sanctioned violence. Anna Griffin!